I'm looking at the comments. The people are saying how amazing he is. Thank you. This is, you know, good information. He didn't give you any information. Did he give you a name? Did he give you facts? Did you get any data? Does he have any proof? The answer to all of the above is no, 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 no. Because he's a fucking pathological liar. And you guys just gobble it up. Gobble it up. He keeps skewing diarrhea. And you guys keep gobbling it up. I don't fault you for that. I mean, if you don't know me, I guess that's my fault, right? Um, why would you know me? <laughs> I'm a nobody. I mean, in this one instance, Jeff was absolutely correct. I'm a nobody. I'm unimportant. So, if anybody's right, you know, I'm unimportant to the flattered movement. I'm unimportant when it comes to making videos. You know, I'm not a name. I'm not a brand. I'm just someone who enjoys other people. I'm straight up. I never lie. I like to bring people together. But I will stand up to them, you know. I, I don't take bullshit. I'll be nice. There's nothing wrong with that being polite. You know, it's, it's courtesy. And it's, you know, giving people a little wiggle room to mess up. And that's fine. If you need to get to know me, my name is Eva Sadafia. Um, 41. I've <laughs> had a very interesting life. I mean, I graduated high school in 1992. I've always been very geeky, but it's never come easy to me. I just never thought or knew I had any talent in the other area. Obstacles not, not been fine. Ironically, this is probably the time of my life I've probably come most happy. I never want to do it. I could care less about mathematical proofs. I did them my whole life. Not interested. I'll, I'll step in. I'll give criticisms on videos where people are doing things wrong. You know, um, there's two things I know really, really, really well. And that's mathematics and nuclear radiation. Yeah, I know some of you are like, huh, she's a shill. That's fake. No, it's not fake. It's the two things I know better than I know myself, practically. I don't know anybody as much as I know <laughs> math and nuclear radiation. Um, the thing is, um, it, it's good to, you know, my favorite phrase, boil away the bullshit and get to the, you know, the foundation of something. If you are having a hard time discerning what is truth and what isn't, you have to boil away all the bullshit, get to a foundation of truth that you do know, that you know is true, and then go from there. Add, add things back in. If they still hold true, then you have a good, solid, sound argument to start with. If they don't, then you got to throw it away. You just got to throw it away. You scrap it. Don't defend it. Don't argue for it. Don't pretend like you know more than you do, because then you just end up sounding like an idiot. And I don't say this to be mean. I mean, we all, we have all heard the idiot talking trying to describe something that he knows nothing about, and it's embarrassing. But when that idiot is on his soapbox, making video after video for the world to hear, he's making a mockery out of us. Honestly. Nobody scrutinizes every anything he says. Nothing. He's never challenged. Now why not? Because he'll ban you. He'll delete your comments. He'll unfriend you. You can't ask questions in his hangouts. It's a fucking tyrannical fascist regime he's got going. He got a little cult of Jeff. I know he said that, you know, I have the cult, but he no, he got that from me, you know, that was my insult to him. But it's true. When people avert their eyes, look down, ignore what's going on, ignore that they're being lied to, to their face, and they don't stand up for themselves, that's the cult. 
when he tells you who you can and cannot talk to, when he tells you what you can and can't do, what you can and can't think, who you can subscribe to, who you can talk to in real fucking life, who you can be friends with, that's a fucking cult. And if any of you have even had a, a small agreement with him, thinking, yeah, why is he that friends with Tim Austin? She must be a shill. Or whatever he told you. That's ridiculous. I'm not going to stop being friends with people because Jeff kept playing nice with other boys. I can have arguments with people and then go have a beer with them at the end of the day. I don't have enemies, and Jeff's enemies are not my enemies. I'm not at war. He's at war. He's psychologically disturbed. You know, we have globers in our everyday life, people we love, our parents, our brothers and sisters, you know, our family, our loved ones, and our significant others. Are we supposed to abandon them? Be hostile to them? You know, you're either with me or you're against me? I mean, he is black and white about that. I'm sure you guys have all seen. He's not your friend. He's a megalomaniac and a pathological liar. He needs your adoration. He needs your attention. He needs your accolades. He needs your praise. And he gives you none of that. He thinks you all are stupid. He thinks you're all a bunch of fucking idiots. He does. There's proof. There's the Super Bowl video. I'll look blood in here. I'm not interested in doing this presentation. I'm driving right now. I mean, there's graphics. There's I mean, he is vile. I mean, his wife. Their grandparents are crying out loud. And look at the way they're behaving. It's embarrassing. Some of you may have seen me making little remarks here and there. Maybe not knowing why. Maybe thinking I'm the one who started it. Uh, defending Jeff because he's the face and the voice that you all know. Hee hee hee, ho ho ho. So funny. Most hated man in the planet Earth. He's an idiot. And you guys are sticking up for idiots. And he's poison. And you're drinking the poison. All I'm trying to do is knock the glass away from your face. Stop drinking the goddamn poison. Because if you do, then I can't associate myself with you. Because I don't take poison. And it's not about choosing sides, it's about setting up for yourselves. I pray every day for all of you and me, each and every one of us, to have strength and for protection. I stood up to him. How come none of you are standing up to him? How come you guys are running back and forth between chat rooms, reporting back to him and his wife, what other people are saying? That's just disgusting behavior. It's pathetic and it's gross. All of you that provide no content, <laughs> that's his bar, okay? Like you need an entry level of you know, being semi-okay in his book. And 99% of you don't have that, but yet you're still following him. Like, like he's not talking about you when he mentions these things. You know, I've got all the toys, come play with me. <laughs> they don't have any toys, go play with them. They have no toys. No choice for them, I have choice. Play with me. If you play with them, I'm gonna ban you. Automatically, no questions asked, ban. Like, oh my god, okay, like that's the worst thing in the world, being ostracized. I wish he would ignore and ostracize me and my friend. He said he would. I said, promise? <laughs> no, there was no promise. Lies, just more lies. That's all he does. So, just to get back to the foundation of this incident, I was having a hangout. People who hang out with me know that I only have like one rule. Don't be disruptive. Don't be spammy. You know, shit talk is allowed. Asking questions is allowed. Globers are allowed. Trolls are allowed. Why? Because I'm not a fucking freedom of speech censoring tyrant. I've banned people before. I get a little crazy sometimes. Um, they're not banned on my channel. You know, those, those very same people. 
Um, and actually, we're all friends now. And thanks to Jeff, I'm more popular than ever. <laughs> Which is so stupid, you know? I was fine being a nobody. You know? I'm just a fucking marshmallow in a cabinet, okay? That's me. That's my analogy I've been using. Just like, rah, 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 rah. fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're nobody troll, blah, blah, blah. You and your boyfriend, Tim. Hey, I have a friend. I have a lot of friends. How would any of any single one of you feel if I told you I can't be your friend anymore because Jeff said so? Jeff said I can't be your friend. Yeah, how would that make you feel? And how would you see me then? I'd be pretty lame and pathetic, wouldn't I? Yeah, but he's the lame and pathetic one. I'm not. I have integrity. And man, you want to see me rise? <laughs> Put that marshmallow in the microwave. You know, one of those fancy fandangled appliances that Jeff's always talking about. If you can supercharge it with a fucking turbo fan. Put a fucking band seat on it with duct tape and make it all awesome. Have a people berry on your head. That kind of microwave. Yeah. Put that marshmallow in that microwave. What happens? Hmm? Yeah. Well, anyway, me and my buddies. Buddies because Jeff attacked them, insulted them, and he's abusive mentally, emotionally, spiritually. He's toxic. After them, he's been absolutely awful. He's called <laughs> one of my friends' dad an 80 year old man at 11 30 at night. And why? Because he's trying to intimidate people. He thinks he has power. And you know why he thinks he has power? Because you people give it to him. Why can't you ignore him? Why do you keep taking his poison? He's disgusting. Okay, he's making live videos, and you guys believe them. They're absolutely retarded. He's a paranoid, schizophrenic, delusional, pathological liar. He's psychotic. He's a mental maniac. He's insane. He's dangerous. All he's done is divide the movement from the very beginning. He was non existent before December 2015. He tells everybody he was here for two years. Oh, he's a horse waiver. A fucking liar. He's a liar. He calls people liars because he's talking about himself. He calls people trolls because he's talking about himself. He calls people agents and MK Ultra. I don't know what the fuck he's even talking about, man. He's talking about himself. And his freaking wife is probably his handler. The only reason he's doing this is because I stood up to him and I did not back down. I think I made him short circuit. I mean, who saw that show on Flat Earth Realities to hang out the other day, huh? That was bizarre, wasn't that? Yeah. Whew. It's like he's trying super hard to get a crash course to make a whole bunch of new followers. I think he lost like more than half. That might not be true. I don't know. I heard it was a lot. Um, yeah, it's like he's trying to remember everything he said in the past five months. And he tried to cram it all into one episode, and he looked like a freaking tweaker who's gone insane. He was stuttering. He, he couldn't keep focus. He couldn't finish a sentence. He couldn't kick, complete a thought. It was so bizarre. They were still following him. What is up with you people? What is wrong with you? Open your fucking eyes. I admit, I used to be a troll 20 years ago, Internet 1.0 and some raver forums. I used to troll the candy kids. It was a lot of fun. They were dumb. They were 14 year olds on ecstasy and drugs. It wasn't very hard to troll them. But it's just part of my personality, you know? It's, I like to push people's buttons, you know? Not all the time, obviously. It's, I pray for peace and harmony, but you know, I I am sincere when I ask people questions sometimes, and they think I'm being antagonistic. It's like, no, you know, I'm hearing contradictory things coming out of your mouth. I need to challenge you on that. That's just not 
my brain, I function very left brain. I hear a theological statement and they short circuit a little bit. I have to correct it or point it out. You know, <laughs> or, you know, I'll, I'll state one, you know, and trap people and see how they handle that. Usually they don't even notice what I did there. Yeah, it was pretty funny. I did that to Tracy uh, when her and Jeff were attacking me and verbally abusing me for two or three hours because I banned him. It's like a baby. I get that upset about getting banned. Have any of you attacked anyone for being banned? After you know you started shit. I mean, he was in there calling us fucking monkeys. Monkeys with wrenches. You know, like, you're just insulting. I, you know, I didn't even want to repeat it. I have my hangout. If you really must, go, go watch it. Go read the chat, the live stream. Anyway, me and my friends were going to come together and expose Jeff. For the liar that he is. I dare any of you please fact check what I'm saying. Go find me something, anything beyond December 2015 that shows Jeff was around. I've been around for a year now. I know you, if you guys have been around just as long, you know that's true. I participate in the Instagram community on Facebook, not so much lately, but um, I'm I always active in the comments. Always, I was looking for what we have now. I was looking for friends that I could talk to, that I could be myself with, that I could joke around with. And Jeff hates that. He doesn't want anybody else to have attention except him. He wants to monopolize everything. He thinks it's his. He thinks. Every idea is his. He thinks he knows everything about everything. And he doesn't. He sounds like an idiot. I've never seen him in common. And I've been around for a year now. Active, active, active participant in the flat earth with videos, creating playlists, sharing, arguing with trolls, debating, you know, back and forth. When you get heated, back off. I've converted people. I, I've had people actually just this week track me down. They were trying to get a hold of me through Instagram, through Facebook. They finally got a hold of me on Hangouts. All to say I'm sorry for being a cunt. I'm looking into flat earth now. I feel sorry. I feel bad for telling my son that the world was round. Or a sphere. I didn't do anything. I didn't follow them or kiss their ass or do anything. I mean, I'm just honest with people. And I like to make people think. I don't like telling people how to think or what to think. And that's Jeff. That's a cult. He puts out a video. Okay, yeah. Those things occurred. Those things were made. It happened. But he's framing it for you. He's controlling the narrative. By doing that, he's playing God. Because now he can control what you think. Do you see how that works? That's why I don't like getting into space with people. I hate being asked questions. I despise it. Because the person asking the question is intentionally being manipulative try to back you into a corner. And I don't play that. I see beyond all that. I see the game. It's not just black and white. There's not only two options. It's not just me and Jeff. It's not a flip of a coin. It's like a 20-sided die in a game of Dungeons and Dragons. Okay? <laughs> many, many, many possibilities. There's always a different angle to a story. 
And you all need to investigate that for yourselves, because I'm not going to tell you what to think. If you want to believe him, fine, go ahead. Block me, unsubscribe me, troll me. I don't care. I can handle you. I promise. I'm not going anywhere, though. Because he's destroying what I love. And that's my family. And that's all you guys. I don't fault you for believing him. I haven't got out there defending myself. But I didn't want to give him that attention. However, in light of his constant provocation, with the sole intention of making us react, I'm going to do the opposite. So me and my friends aren't going to do an activity together to bring Jeff down. Because he's doing that by himself. He's doing a perfectly good job of bringing himself down. All on his own. All we need to do is ignore him. Don't give me your energy. He needs it. He's going to go insane. You'll see it. The more you withhold, it's the way it's That's all I ask. I'm not telling you to pick me. Don't do everything and anything else. I don't even provide videos. I have some cute worm videos. That's pretty funny. And a couple of other scenery videos. Like my house and my hometown. Um, just ignore him. I promise you, he's poisoning. He's just gonna, he's gonna sting. Just stick with him. And that's your choice. Of course. Sometimes we all need to get steamed to learn a lesson. There's no growth without adversity. But I've had enough adversity in my life. I've had to go so much. Maybe that's why people think I sound wise and intelligent. I don't even know what I've said that has ever sounded remotely smart or I don't know. I don't know what people's <laughs> definitions of but I know I'm intriguing at least. To say the least. I mean because I know how to talk to people. I treat them with respect. And that's something you'll never get from him. He's not your friend. Not your friend. He does not care about you. He thinks he cares about the movement. He's delusional. He thinks he's trying to end the division. He's causing the division since the beginning. Rewind the short-term memory here. Because it's him that came in wanting to do flatter TV. He handpicked me, Ace and Cynthia, and Louie, and a couple of others to be his team. I was down, you know, I was really excited about it because we were supposed to catch people like a net and they fall into the flat earth. The people who had nowhere to go or nowhere to talk to. He destroyed that like within a week. But we kept that going and he thinks we stole it from him. No, we just have integrity and he has the biggest tantrums on flat earth. He attacked Patricia Steer, who was after Jaren. He goes after the Mordile. He went after Bob. I mean, who hasn't he gone after? He attacks people. He can't even debate people without fucking opening the gasket, popping a nut, calling them nigger, and then banning them from the panel. He's a tyrant. He doesn't listen to people. He doesn't explain things. And he short circuit because his videos are scripted. He's not that smart. He can never repeat that information to you. That's why he always says, oh, look, I got a video on that. Let's just go, let's just go my video. He, everything is about him. Don't let him onto your hangouts. You will never have a debate. It will always be a long ass fucking talk about the amazing John Stewart. I mean, Jeff Stewart, sorry. <laughs> oh. I do that. Anyway, um, I'm almost home. My point being, I'm not going to let my friends themselves out on, out there like that. I'm not going to let them put themselves on the line. I won't. Even though he's attacked them and they'd be standing up for themselves. Um, I can take Jeff down by myself. I'm not interested in that. He's just pathetic. Let him have his little angsty, antagonizing cult 
um, fucking Jeff worshiping followers have brain dead, never listening to anything that's actually being said anyway. Just happy to have a hangout. So that's all it is. I can give you that. I'm more than happy to. Because I actually do care about you guys a lot, a lot. And this is why it hurts me. I don't give a fuck about attacks on me. And I'll get excited and I'll defend myself. Don't get me wrong. I'm a fucking Libra for crying out loud. I have to have balance and harmony. If somebody smashes down one side of my scale, I push back with equal and opposite force. So, I guess that's the end of that. Um, I'm literally just driving in the dark here. So when I upload this, hopefully I'll put some pretty pictures up for you guys. I know long ass videos with no graphics is pretty lame. But in the event that I didn't and you got this far, thank you very much for listening to me. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. I have nothing but gratitude for everybody who contributes to this letter. And by I mean even participating in the chat room, you're contributing to the community. You're letting people get to know you. And that's super important. I know it's important to me, but it's important to everybody because nothing else is trust. I'm not going to tell you to trust me. I'm just going to have to listen to your intuition. And if you have no intuition, you better start being informed because there's some vile, vicious people in the world who are absolutely committed. You will take it with everything you've got. Emotionally, spiritually. They'll hit you with demonic attacks. They know how to direct that energy. The kind of anger you see coming out of people, that's not normal. That's demonic. I'm sorry, but it is. And it's a form of mind control because it's meant to do the And I know there's a lot of you that are intimidated by Jeff and do hear him. I just want to let you know that you have nothing to get rid of. Nothing at all. I'm 5'3", 41 year old Hispanic chica with a lot of spunk. If I could send a chin to you, you don't need him. And you don't need anything he gives you. Just because he entertained you with a couple of videos. Tell me, don't take the poison, okay? He's got bad intentions behind his motives. And that's more important than his content. All right. Thanks, guys. I love you. Uh,